Okay, um, just going to do a quick video on this uh, ballistics weather meter I got. Um, I've had it now three or four months. Um, yeah, probably probably the most useful bit of kit that I've bought in a long while. Um, couldn't really get on with it to start with, um, but realizing it's obviously user error, not not the machine. Uh, this is the Kestrel 2700, um, and it's a, it uses applied ballistic technology uh, from America. Uh, use it on, on a G1 and a G7 ballistic coefficient platform. Um, I use it on the center fire rifle now, which is it was designed for. But the good thing is it works with high powered air rifles, and that's what I uh, use it for mainly. Um, it's very easy to go set up and that you uh basically press that center button um it'll come up with last times whenever you use that last whatever the uh meters it was that's elevation the top one the bottom one is your wind um obviously with the elevation it tells you up that arrow tells you up or down and that one tells you left or right but what you do is you you get to your range and you press your button there center button it reads the temperature so what you need to do is get this up there, try and do this without smacking the camera on. You spin this for about, I don't know, seven or eight seconds. Um, and it will give you uh, an ambient temperature there. Uh, this sensor will take all, you know, environmentals, humidity, temperature, all that sort of thing. Um, and then when you've done that, obviously you press that button again and it will give a degree of, what well, your direction of fire basically. Um, so say your target's that way. Point it at the target, we'll say 92 degrees or whatever, yeah. Okay, um, you press the button again. Um, and when you've done direction, you obviously need to know what your wind's doing. So, I don't know, say the wind's coming from that way. You point it into the wind and it will blow away. And, you know, it will. you hold that, you hold that there again for about five or six seconds. I mean, they say the longer the better, but, you know, whatever you're going to shoot, it's going to probably fly off and run off by then, isn't it? Oh. You know, if you're shooting targets and stuff, the wind changes, it goes up and down. So, you know, you take a 10 second reading, press that button again, and then you put your range in. So whatever you're shooting, I was shooting earlier with the Red Wolf, 104 yards. But, um, and then it tells you 3.1 clicks of elevation. And because there's no wind in this room, zero for wind. Um, it did take me by surprise. I, I thought at first that the, that the Kestrel wasn't working properly. Um, because it would just give me such low windage readings. And then it hit me that obviously with the high ballistic coefficient of the slugs that I was using, you don't need that wind like you would expect with air rifle pellets. Um, you know, I, I was out earlier and it was 3.1 of elevation, but you're talking maybe five clicks, half an MRAD of, of windage. Um, and I just thought it can't be. so. You know, you need to try these things out, you know, with yourself properly, like, you know, go out and actually test it. And sure enough, it was half a click, you know, or whatever it's telling me, you know, it, it works. It's on a G, it, most accurate for, for air rifles is a GA platform, um, ballistic coefficient setting, or whatever you want to call it. But this only offers it in G1 and G7. Um, G1 is the nearest you're going to get for air rifles. Um, so what you do is... You have your phone, you download the Kestrel Ballistic app, which I've got here somewhere. Um, and then what you need to do is connect it to the device. Um, it does this thing called load and go. So there's your device, it will come up with what available device is. Um, that's the serial number. I always check that the serial number complies with that one there on your Kestrel. You know, you select it. It will select the device and authenticate it and go through those little things. And this does take a little little bit of time. But once you're done, you can then literally just load and go. You load your your next um your so gun you get a gun profile management. And so at the moment you can I think you can have up to five profiles with this one. Um with the more expensive five seven hundred, I think you can have ten profiles and well I can't I'm not got one so I don't know, but I, I know I think it's round about that. Um, so at the moment I've got my 25 grain um, JSBs on power setting 6 on my heli board. I've got an 87 grain 243 
from a uh, center fire and then on this one again this is the 38 grain pro hunter slug that i've been using quite a lot um so you know you just set it up you click on your profile um and, you know you put your name you put uh well the name of the not your name but the name of the bullet um bullet's diameter bullet's weight the ballistic coefficient uh, and the muzzle velocity and uh, the zero range that you're at um obviously that zero that uh muzzle velocity looks quite high for for it and it is but what you do is you need to do trajectory validation and for anyone who shot center fire quite a lot at any longer range than a couple hundred yards you, you know you need you need to do this and this basically is these apps now are all well and good but you can't be real true data but once you know what your real true raw data is you can input it into your app and then the, this will be bang on every time to do that you go uh muzzle velocity calibration um and it'll get the profile from your current from your orchestral the current profile um and what you do is as it says here follow the target setup routine so you know direction of fire temperature and all that um and you capture everything you need so you look at a target range and earlier i'll shoot 104 yards so you can key that in and then it's telling me uh did i do that right hang on it's telling me i should be aiming three three mils well i've already calibrated this so it is it is, it is three mils but when i first got this and i was going to do the trajectory validation for it um i think i believe strelock you can use strelock but this is that's a separate thing strelock told me it was something like 4.9 mrads um so I put that into the turret and obviously it's shooting high. So, you know, um, the muzzle velocity does look high on this, but it's all it doing is, is it's adjusting the curve of the bullet to the app. Um, so ignore that, you, you know, you know, if you've chronographed your air rifle, I mean, I chronographed it and I'm getting an average muzzle velocity with those 38 grain pro hunters of uh, about 900 feet per second. There's no way am I kicking out 100, well, one, 1007 feet per second but when you've done that you accept your muzzle velocity so you've put you've keyed in your clicks um what of what it actually is not what you know the app's telling you you accept the muzzle velocity and then it will then update the profile um so when you find your profile you want you send that to the kestrel it will raise the previous profile and there you go see it's a set up 3.1 clicks um it's great once you've done that phone goes away and you take this with you um and you're away it's great it's relatively cheap for what it does um i've not seen anything else on the market like this um i think this was about probably i think about 220 quid which you know the cost of a range finder these days or anything else you, you know, obviously you need a range finder as well to be able to find that so like I said earlier, you press the button there, send a button, you get your ambient temperature, you can give it a spin, you get uh, the de degree of direction of fire, um, so when you keep that in, you get your wind, and then you put in your range, so 104 yards, bang, there you go. Um, yeah, um, that's all it is to it, really. It's so basic, um, but it works, you know, and it's great for, great for FAC. You've got FAC air rifle and you want to, know a bit more about you, what the wind what you're doing if you're pushing the ranges out then you're going to need something like this um i don't know if there's anything else out there that does anything like this but um you can use strelock and you know you'll get and a, and a and a cheap i used to use a cheap uh, wind meter from amazon i think it cost me about eight quid um which works and it does work but that's two things in your hand this is just one thing and that's the beauty of it so yeah Look it up. It's, um, it's a great bit of kit. Thank you.